Tiddlick the Frog The Story of the Great Flood In the beginning of time, there was a great frog named Tiddlick who lived in the southern New South Wales. He was bigger than any other frog and wandered around the plains of Riverina. One morning, Tiddlick awoke with a great thirst and began to drink up all the waters from the water holes, rivers and lakes. He drank until all the waters were held in his swollen body. All the animals and people were dying of thirst and it was only a matter of time before they all died. A great council of the animals was held to work out a solution. The wise owl suggested that if the frog was made to laugh, the waters would rush out of his mouth and there would be plenty for all. So all the animals gathered around Tiddly. One after another, they tried their hardest to make him laugh. They danced and performed tricks, but none of them could make Tiddlick laugh. Guru Gaga, the kookaburra, tried out his funniest stories, but the frog remained serious and quiet. There was no sign of any smile. The animals were miserable and worried that they would never make Tiddlick laugh. Suddenly, out of the darkness, slivered No Yang, the eel. He stood up on his tail and began to dance around the frog. He wriggled and jiggled and twisted himself into the most amazing positions. He finished his dance by spinning around so fast that he became a blur. Slowly, the corners of Tiddlick's mouth started to curl and his big fat belly began to wobble as he started to laugh. He tried to hold his sides to stop laughing, but he laughed and laughed until all the water came gushing out. As a result, there was a great flood filling the water holes, rivers and lakes. The animals and people were no longer thirsty and the land was restored to a land of paradise, providing food, water and shelter for all. <laughs>